Hey there, this is Clay, and I know it's been a few months since I put a video up here, but I'm gonna be getting back into the habit of doing that. And to get things started, I'm gonna start by talking about something called the wall of reactants. Now, this is one of the five phases of getting back together with your ex. Um, if you'd like, I can also go ahead and make more videos on the other phases as well. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna talk about the wall of reactants, since it's kind of something that a lot of people experience. Um, and here's how to, how to tell if you are going through the wall of reactants, if that's something that you're experiencing right now. Because that's kind of a weird term that maybe not everybody knows. And you're going through the wall of reactants if every time you try to reach out to your ex, you're just met with like nothing. They just ignore you, or maybe they just write back something like really hostile, or they say something really mean to you. Either that, or they just respond with something really cold like, we're through and it's just no emotion in it whatsoever. And if that is the case, then you are in one of the phases of getting back together called the wall of reactants. Okay, so let's get into what is going on here and what you can do moving forward, okay? So this phase here is really, um, it, it, it's really about a feeling of reactance that your ex is having towards you. So now reactance is not a common word that we really use in our society these days very often. So let me go ahead and explain to you what that word means. So reactance is that feeling that you get like when you're just sitting around at home or something like that and you hear a knock on the door, somebody rings the doorbell and you get up and you open the door and you see that there's like a door-to-door -door vacuum cleaner salesman there getting ready to come into your house and show you a demonstration on, you know, how great this amazing vacuum is. And you know, you're, you're not expecting this at all. You're just sitting there watching TV, doing whatever, cooking dinner, I don't know. But this guy is just trying to like interrupt what you're doing to try to sell you a vacuum, to, to try to fulfill his ulterior motive. That is kind of what that feeling of reactance is. It's that feeling where you're like, oh, can we just get this over with? Can I just slam the door and like run away screaming or something like that? That is the feeling of reactance. And if you are experiencing some of those things that I described earlier uh, with your ex when you try to contact them, then your ex is feeling a feeling of reactance toward you, okay? And I know that's not a great place to be, but they're feeling the exact same way. And what you need to understand is that right now, um, either because maybe the breakup is really fresh or maybe because you've done things in the past that have just pushed them to the edge, you know, like maybe called them a billion times or, or wrote them a bunch of long love poems or something like that. You know, they have just been pushed to that place where they have this like thick wall of reactants around them to, to like protect them from you. And um, oftentimes, this can be really hard because oftentimes we feel that you know, it's hard to get through your ex, it's hard to contact them, it's hard to get them to open up, so you just have to try that much harder, right? You know, if you were calling them a couple times a day, you have to call them like 10 times more per day, or you have to, you know, write them an even more heartfelt love poem, or you have to, you know, do something dramatic or drastic um, in order to get through to them, and, I, and that's not the way you wanna go. I mean, you know, if you do something extreme, you might get some kind of response from them, but it's not going to be a great response and it's not going to get you where you want to go. And ultimately in the long run, it'll just really thicken up those walls of reactants around your ex. So what you really want to do is in most cases, you may want to consider number one, going into a period of active no contact for a while, not just regular no contact where you just like sit down and just zone out and you know keep busy and distract yourself and all that. So that, that that doesn't work we already talked about that in other videos so I'm not going to go over that here um, but you want to do active no contact for a while and then what you want to do is you need to understand something okay you need to understand this this really key point here and that's that right now based on where your ex is at emotionally they don't want to talk to you about things like the relationship or the breakup or you know, how much in love with them you are and stuff like that. They, they, they're just not at a place where they're ready for that, okay? 
And every time you talk about that, they're, every time you like interact with them, every time you reach out to them, they're going to think that you have that ulterior motive of you know, trying to get back together, trying to apologize, trying to tell them how much you love them, trying to explain how great the two of you are together or something like that. And that's just going to really push them further into the wall of reactants. You know, it's, it's like that, that, that talk about the relationship, that's like the, hey, would you like to buy this vacuum cleaner kind of you know, sales pitch that, that um, that the door-to-door -door vacuum cleaner guy has. And that's what your ex is like weary about. They're like, okay, what, what's going on here? Are you, I know you're trying to sell me something. So they're, they're really on the defense and you have to be weary of that. So when you do reach out to them, you do not want to bring up subjects like the breakup, like uh, you know your relationship, like getting back together, like commitment, like any, anything like that. You can bring that stuff up later, okay? That, that stuff can come up later. That's absolutely fine. You can talk about that later. But right now, where your ex is at emotionally, they are not prepared to have that discussion, okay? Right now, they just want to have a human-to-human -human interaction that feels good on an emotional level, where they can feel connected to someone else, where they can feel like you know, you're an actual person there who's actually willing to listen to them, who's willing to get and understand where they're at, and you're not just there to try to, you know, like strong arm them back into a relationship or a commitment or something like that. And that's what you need to understand when it comes to getting past the wall of reactance, okay? When you make that first contact, it cannot be about the relationship, the breakup, or anything like that. Otherwise, it's just going to put those walls right back up and it's going to make them even thicker and harder to get through the next time, okay? So when you try to reach out to your ex, understand that oftentimes, you know, if, if they aren't very responsive, if they're not very open to you, that you're going to have to be dealing with this emotion of reactance that they are experiencing. And in order to get past that, do not talk about the breakup of the relationship, how much you love them, anything like that right now. Again, I promise you can talk about that later, but right now you just want to have a good interaction with them in the present moment. You know, like imagine if you were on a first date with somebody, you want to have a good interaction in the present moment. You don't want to try to, you know, convince them to commit to you to be your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, or marry you or anything like that. You want to just have a fun time at the coffee shop, the dinner place, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing on the date. So I hope this explains a little bit to you about what may be going on between you and your ex. And if you'd like to get more help on how to get back together with your ex, please go over to relationshipinnergame.com and sign up for our newsletter so we can start helping you and sending you tips today on how you can get back together with your ex. Thanks. Thanks.